Hello, I'm, I'm Martin. I'm living in Germany, but I'm Dutch. I'm from Holland. Uh, and um, me and my wife, we have a ministry and uh, we work uh, mainly in, in Germany and Austria and Switzerland, but also in other countries like uh, Croatia, we, we have a ministry. Uh, we try to reach people who were uh, involved in New Age. And uh, I myself have been a Buddhist before, a Tibetan Buddhist, uh, and I was very active for uh, about seven years in uh, this Buddhist uh, uh, religion and um, I've been doing many things. I traveled to India. I met uh, twice uh, Dalai Lama uh, and uh, in this time um, I, I thought uh, I'm on the right way to enlightenment uh, and I meditate a lot and I try to um, do all the practices in uh, Buddhism but one day I met my wife um, and she was uh, an esoteric and we decided to travel and we traveled uh, all around uh, India, all around the world to India and then to uh, Indonesia and then we reached Australia. And um, one day uh, we were hitchhiking and um, in this uh, uh, moment uh, a, a young man took us and he was just full of joy. And uh, we asked him, well, what's happening with you? Um, and he said, well, uh, my good mood is because of my good relationship with Jesus Christ. So then <laughs> he asked us, what, what's your job? And we said, well, we are alternative psychotherapists. And um, he asked us, do you want to experience something real alternative? And we said, yes, we were always in for something new. But then uh, he said, you have to come with me to my church. So at that time we said, okay, we come. In that church, we, my wife Elke and me, saw for the first time of our lives a church with people who were praising God as if he was really there. So we were surprised and after the service, one lady came to us and asked, can I pray with you? Well, we kind of uh, were saying, well, it doesn't feel right. So we went with the lady. She took, she asked the pastor to come, with, uh, come along and they started to pray. First of all, they prayed with my wife and I saw in that moment in the prayer how she gave her life to Jesus. So I was completely surprised. And then the lady asked, can I pray with you as well? Well, I said, I'll try. So she said, you can repeat a small prayer after me. I said, okay, I'll do, because I didn't know how to pray a Christian prayer. I was a Buddhist. So at that time, she started her prayer very short and she said, I had to quit with all other religion. She didn't know it, I was a Buddhist, but at that time, I was standing there, my eyes were closed, and I was just shocked. I thought, I'm not going to do that. I'm a good Buddhist. I was very proud. I thought, I'm meditating all day, and I try to reach enlightenment, and I always um, try to uh, do the best things, and uh, to throw myself on the bottom, and to do what Tibetan Buddhists do. But then um, I thought, well, if this is true, if this is a true religion, then I have to make a relationship with this Jesus. And I felt at that time that this Jesus is much bigger, much clearer, and much more true than my religion in myself. So it was not that I was dissatisfied with Buddhism. The only thing which was so much um, present at that time was the, the person Jesus Christ. And because he was more big, more clear, more true than all religion, at that time I said, okay, I'll do. I quit with all other religion. I quit with Buddhism. So after this prayer, 
we were just kind of um, confused what happened now and I thought maybe Jesus has come and I always uh, also practice Buddhism and I combine all the things. So Jesus is uh, one guru, Dalai Lama is another guru. But then after a while of trying to combine Buddhism and Christianity, I felt very clear it's just impossible. I try to meditate Christian, I try to pray Buddhist, but it didn't, didn't work. So then I said all of a sudden, I have to really quit with all this practice. I have to quit with all what I did before. So and then I decided just to go and try to go the way of Jesus. And this is about 20 years ago. So after that I had to learn what it means to be a Christian. I had to learn what it means what the Bible teaches, I had to, to start to read the Bible. I never read the Bible at the time. And this time, um, I read the Bible every year, twice. And I like reading the Bible because I know this is the fundament on which Christianity is being built. So I follow Jesus and now we have, my wife and I, a ministry and we try to reach people who are influenced by Buddhism who are esoteric, into new age, who are alternative. Are you going to eat something? Thank you.